one of the scariest parts, I think, is people go into um, a facility is feeling like they're gonna be alone through this detox process or in a, in a medical setting where um, it just feels sterile. And that's not what they're gonna be in. They're gonna be in a warm, inviting um, area. We're gonna get them engaged in the programming as soon as possible, get them connected to other peers like them, get them involved in groups, um, get them involved in individual sessions so they can start the healing process. Unlike many treatment centers, you won't have to go through detox somewhere else. At Cumberland Heights, detox and residential treatment are both done on our 177-acre campus. It eliminates that transition, so to speak. When, when someone gets here and they meet our admissions counselors and then they meet the nursing staff and the doctors, these are the same people that they're going to be working with a week later and two weeks later. So these are people that um, have gathered as much information, have have kind of walked through the fire with them, so to speak, when they go through withdrawal that at this time know their medical history. So there's consistency and comfort and a level of assurance that you're not gonna have to repeat your story or um, have to re-engage with people. You'll meet with medical staff who will come up with a plan to meet your individual needs. It depends on the drug that they were using, how long that they were using, how much that they were using. And so even though it differs, there are some things that you can generalize that seem scary. And that's feeling sick, like you have the flu. Some of the symptoms that people may experience are muscle um, aches, body aches, hot and cold sweats on and off. Um, they're gonna experience some nausea. Um, the medications will help take some of that away, but not all of it. Even while in detox, patients will become acquainted with their peers and counselors. We become their recovery community, and we detail that in orientation, and the nursing staff and the medical staff is amazing. And at the same time, I know in all of the programs, when a patient is going through detox, their counselor, their assigned counselor and case manager will go to their room and meet them and talk with them and say, you know, you're going to experience this. And these are some things that you can do if you experience this. If you start to get chills, these are some things that you can do. We can give you a blanket. If you start to feel sick, this is what you can do. So they're talking to their treatment team while they're in detox, they go a further distance into their program. So one of the things that we do in order to help the person feel comfortable when they get here is we have a buddy system. And so they're, one of their buddies from their community will come up and greet them and introduce them to other community members. Um, and they'll show them around. Um, they'll take them to dinner or lunch, depending on what time they get here. Um, and that connection with the peer in the community can make all the difference. Just ask Todd. He's a senior admissions specialist who also went through the program several years ago. I was terrified. I was terrified. Detox is never fun. Um, no matter what substance you're coming off of, you know, your body's fighting against you because you're taking away a substance it's been used to taking for so long. We have a wonderful nursing staff here who I became very close to. Um, especially going through such a rough detox and they're always available to talk 24 hours a day. I remember coming in, you know, coming in not feeling well, wanting to go home and, you know, they were the only, the staff that were right there and I could talk to easily and um, we became very close. The guys that I were in, that I was in treatment with were wonderful. You know, they came and, and helped me out. They could see I was struggling and they were doing, you know, guys that had been here for a couple of weeks were you know, feeling better and doing better. And, and so they really helped me along. They didn't push me away or keep me separated. They actually encouraged me to participate in much as I could. We um, do have areas where if a patient is, and this is still located in our medical area, if a patient is feeling well enough, but still feeling kind of sick, but well enough to get out of bed and start, you know, uh, reading about their program or visiting with others that are in the program, they can come into one of the lounges and just rest, there's fresh fruit, water, um, 
again, just nourishing them, their bodies as they, they, they begin to heal and meeting other people, meeting with their staff members, anything that's gonna make them feel comfortable at the time um, and supported as they go through this. So this is the porch right outside of admissions. Um, this is where when patients or potential patients first come, they may sit with their family, um, their loved ones, as they're um, wading through the admission process. Um, peers from the community may come to introduce themselves and help them feel a little more comfortable. There's something about this porch and the grounds that, that just, it just exudes community. And when you see a couple of people sitting on the rocking chairs and you just stop and start talking to them, it feels comfortable, it feels familiar, and it feels like you're where you're supposed to be.